Stu here for Mobile Geeks, and right now we're going to look at the HTC Desire 816, and we're going to check out some gaming performance. So, let's uh, start with Dead Trigger 2. Okay, so here we are, we're already in the game right now, and we're actually, let's have a look at the options here, so options we're going. Okay, so we also have performance options here. Let's take a look, and we've got the graphic details on high. If we, if we say, yeah, okay, so you got auto-detect. Auto-detect wants us to use low, but we'll, we'll see how it does with high. We'll put, just click apply, go back, and then back into the game. There's no artifacting. The screen's a little bit reflective, as you can see. It's kind of bouncing off the lights here in our studio. But the viewing angles... The viewing angles look great. Oh, here we go. There's no lag, everything's running very smoothly. So as well as good audio, I will say that the back of the device here, just kind of in this region here, it kind of gets uh, a little warm. Oh. oh, take that, but not too warm. So here we are with Real Racing 3 from EA. Great looking game, one of the best racing games on the market in my opinion. It's a 720p screen. It's not full HD, but you have to say, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, here we are flying past our competitors. So we get a bit more volume here. Oh, yes. There's definitely no lag. This is as smooth as anything. I think the Snapdragon 400 from Qualcomm with the Adreno GPU is handling everything very, very nicely. Let's try some Frontline Commando D-Day. Oh, and you really get a sense of the stereo as well, right? Come on, headshots only. There you go. It really does add a lot more drama to the game, having this good quality audio. I can, I can feel almost the, the audio rumbling, the gunshots with each shot. It's fantastic. It's great. So next we've, uh, we've installed Anomaly 2, which is actually one of the, one of the biggest games you can download. Uh, it's also one of the most graphics intensive, so as we're playing this, you can see it's actually the GPU, the Adreno 305 is doing very well, it's handling all of these explosions and uh, like these, uh, the, the laser lights, the, the animation of the, of the characters here very fluidly, very well. So you can see with these explosions that there's absolutely no lag. It's doing uh, exceptionally well. Looks very clear. Well done, Captain. Okay, so... Yeah, sports. Let's have ourselves a little bit of basketball action. This is NBA... 20... 20K13. 2K13, I should say. And you can see a little bit of artifact in there. This is something we've noticed before with the uh, with the Qualcomm Adreno GPU that it that sometimes in close-up shots of the players, although the general gameplay is very clear, close-up shots of the players, as you can see, there it's a little bit of artifacting just kind of leaking in. Asphalt 8 is absolutely one of my favorite racing games. It's one of the funnest games you can play in a mobile device currently, I think. So we got all of our options, got everything cranked up as high as we can. As you can see, <laughs> this game is just so much fun. I love it. It's very simple to play, very easy to get engaged with. Oh dear me. How did we do that? Oh my lordy. But anyway, it looks great. Here under the Desire 816, it just looks superb. Why? 